Child support is a scam. I'm saying it without remorse or without anything. It's a scam. You can't be asking for what you don't have. You came into a, 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 a came into the home. The man is providing everything. At the end of the day, you feel you want to go, and uh, it is your entitlement to take fifty percent or I don't know how many percent you want to remove. If you if you have that notion as a woman, you are a wicked person. You never love that man. A woman that loves deeply won't even be thinking about how to take something from this person to hurt this person. No matter what, they will live peacefully. If you live peacefully, it will, it will show that you really have the interest of this person in mind, no matter what. But for you to like, okay, you know what, I'm going to court, let's go to court. I need part of your this thing, you are supposed to give me this, you are supposed to give me that. No. If I tell you, give me the child, you said no. You want to take custody of the child. Then take custody of the child and leave the person alone. It supports. It's not get rich quick scheme. It supports. Don't see it. Don't see it as an opportunity to siphon uh, financial aid, financial assistance from the next person. It is. It's a criminal act and it's a scam. Public service announcements. How many of you remember this guy, Tyrese Gibson, an R&B singer, an actor, and uh, an entrepreneur? I don't know if how many, how many of you can remember him. Was born in I think 30th December 1978. By 30th of December 2024, he's going to be 46 years old. I don't know how many of you how many of you remember him. Currently, he's having a child support problem with his, should I say ex-wife? Yes, his ex-wife, who happened to fall out of love, according to the story I read. So, yesterday, I stumbled upon a, a podcast by one Ange, Angel Martinez. I, I hope I got that right. Angel Martinez. I watched I watched a clip on, a, on a Facebook and... The whole encounter wasn't really funny. When you say support, support, child support, we really need to take our time and look at these things very well. What does it really mean? Because uh, from everything that I was able to watch from the clip, because I wasn't able to watch everything, I couldn't get hold of the whole clip, the whole podcast. It was just... Uh, the detail part i just i was i was i was really down when it was weeping i just got a detail of of the of the whole podcast which i watched and from everything it wasn't really it wasn't really fine it wasn't really fine. i really felt for him it was he's having a, a child support problem he's having a child support problem uh, i think uh, due to his recent movies van de Diesel or something i think they had he acted fast and furious. I, I'll post his picture here so that you'll be able to see him. He acted fast and furious. And uh, the charges labeled against him is, is that uh, most of his recent movies, they've been doing well. Uh, they've been doing well in the box box office. They're doing well and uh, he's yielding more money. And now the wife is demanding for an increase in the child support, which was initially agreed by both parties. So the issue now I'm having with all these people is the fact that, okay, so as an actor, because of the fact that you're making it, so you should increase your child support. When you say support, most of us, we don't really understand these things. We need to, we need to clarify these things. There are vows in marriages, not even marriages, in marriage, in quote, there are vows you take, there are laws guiding marriage. Marriage is not made up of one person. It's made up of two people that agree to become one. So whatever, whatever they do, they do it as one. So when you say child support, let's say, let's use as uh, Tyrese Gibson, let's use his, his own case for an example. He's no longer with the wife. The wife fell out of love. We don't know what happened. But uh, from everything he explained on the, on the podcast, there was really no issue. There was no violence. There was no abuse or any, any sort. The wife just fell out of love and decided to move on, but wanted the child support. I feel, I feel 
the greatest scam in humanity is that child support. The greatest scam. I don't know whoever came up with that law, but it's, it's a scam to humanity. And it doesn't even favor the male. It doesn't. Because majority of these people that are looking for this child support, they, they are not even looking for this child support for the, for the, for the children. They are just looking at this for this child support for themselves indirectly. Yes, it's part of the children, yes. They just feel you not doing anything and there's somebody giving you giving you money. You are asking for a way higher money just for you to do a child support. Which is really, really, really a scam to humanity. And these things I believe we should look into it. We should look into it with all sincerity. We don't have to be biased about it. No. He has been consistent in paying the child support when uh, it was initially uh, agreed upon. And he's doing well for himself because I don't understand why someone will feel that because I give birth to a child means I don't have to stay alive to be able to take care of that child. I cannot do at the expense of my children, no matter what. No matter what, I can't do that at the expense of my children. I need to be alive. I need to be strong. I need to be healthy. I need to be financially stable for me to be able to take care of my children. Because we are talking about child support. If I give out this support, will I be comfortable? Will it be convenient for me? This same person you are looking at now is an actor who doesn't work in a government organization. He works like, a, like an, let me use the word entrepreneur. He works for himself. A time will come. He won't be at the A-list artist anymore. Look at the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger today. As a then, back then in the 70s, 80s, even lesser than 70s, 60s, it was the number one talk of the time. Where is he today? Imagine if he had not saved money, he has not saved up for his future. What, what would have happened to him? Have we ever thought and considered all these factors? Okay, because of the fact that okay, he's making new movies, he's making more money, then you want to increase. What's going to happen to him at the end of the day? Don't you care about his welfare? Don't you care about his health? He has his own personal needs he needs to take care of. I didn't come this life just to train up my children. I also came to enjoy. From what I'm enjoying, my children enjoy from it as well. It doesn't mean because I make a lot of money means uh, I take my children to the best, the most expensive school. The basics in life is education. In as much as my, my kids are receiving the right and the proper education, they are getting the right support, it's fine. We are not looking at luxury in terms of uh, in terms of support. And if we are going to look at support, support, the word support is like assist. I don't know if I'm right or I'm wrong, but I know I'm definitely right. And I want you to share your view on it. Support is like assist for us to come as a man and a woman. If you are talking about support, support shouldn't be a verdict given by a particular body on someone. Because you feel, you can't be doing because I feel that your new movie, because to me, the judgment that was pronounced on him was not really too good. You tripled the child support he was paying before. You just expect him. Do you know that majority of these movies, these guys, they make today, there are lots of things they put into place. The, the movies, they don't just make it and just sell off, just like that. They move, there could be some loans they've used to get this, uh, get some of the things they use for the movies. And now for them to offset those loans, and possibly see the profit from it. Other expenses, there are people you need to pay as well. It's not just that the whole money they make, they just give it to just one person. So this fact, we need to really consider it. It needs to be considered. And we are looking at the child support, it's supposed to be a two-way thing. I'm supposed to bring parts, you are supposed to bring parts. The idea of someone taking all the money because of the name of child support is something else. It's something that we should all look into. How can a woman just wake up today and say he's no longer interested? And you want to be with the kids. To me, if you if this is your wish to for you to want him to be with kids, I think it should be your responsibility because it was your choice in the first place. You can't take up the, chi the children saying that you, you are in a better position to trade them. I agree. Then you should be in a better place to take care of them properly and without even disturbing me. It's a support. It's a support. What's come to us? If it, in the worst in the worst case scenario, I think. What we should do is this we should have a proper plan for our children when we talk about children's support if, if both parents happen not to go along uh, go along their ways anymore 
they, they don't, don't agree to go along a path if they want to part ways for the benefit of the children. Okay, what are the children going to do? What, what, what are we looking at when you talk about the children's welfare? Okay, their education, their feeding, their housing, where they are going to stay. Okay, you know what? Let's calculate these things. We have a proper agreement. Then we are couples. We are meant, we are both parents to the same child. We are meant to train these children or train the child together. We are couples. We are meant to train this child together. So you coming on board and uh, giving me all the responsibility or making me feel pressured is something I think you should be looking into. Now you are telling the same person to bring, to pay what he was paying in three folds because he's making it. A time will come where this guy will not be able to make it. Maybe his era has passed and now is a phase of a new, uh, a new person. There was a time he was not at the limelight. There were other people there and those other people left for him to enter. Now that he's on the limelight, a time will come he will leave. The moment he has now, he is supposed to gather for himself and his future. Because when he's no longer at the limelight, he needs to take care of himself. He needs to pay the bills. Maybe most movies won't be coming anymore to his way because they feel he's old. Most of the rules they want to give to him, they feel he's old. He's, 46, he's 45 years old now. By December 30th, he's going to be 46 years old. Before you look, before you look at what's going on, he's almost 50 plus. Okay, look at the likes of Snoop Dogg. I just want to give an example. The likes of Snoop Dogg. These guys, they are still relevant today in society. Why? Because during their time, they've been able to what? A build an empire that could they know they, they realize that they, the game doesn't stay there forever they've been able to build an empire that will take care of them in their old age what is he going to use all the monies that he has made to pay for child support what are we even saying what are we even saying so i think child support not even think i know from everything that is happening now i know child support is is the biggest scam to humanity is the biggest so far and it's something that we should try and curtail before it blows out because if you check at it these days now majority of the women we are having in society they are not supportive they are not they see marriage as a get quick rich scheme marriage should be should be something very holy something you 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 love to do it's not something you rush into and you just come out and at the end of the day you want compensation you want somebody to give you 50 percent of what they have because you are no longer together so imagine if he goes to this one do 50 percent go to this one do 50 percent go to the third one give you 50 percent of what they have it's not it's not good we are not we are not really encouraging this union i think these laws should be should be looked into let these laws be looked into so that we can have a better society tomorrow so that our kids and our well unborn children they will have a better society tomorrow Look at Africans, for example, back far then, back then, Africans, they have more than one wife. Some have like seven, eight. I don't know how they were able to have forefathers, how they were able to hold on to, this, to these women and they were able to control all of them together under one roof. But here we are, just one woman is giving us serious issue. I don't know, has society lost its value or what? What has really happened to this generation? What has really happened to this generation? What are the things we need to do? What are the things that we didn't do? What are the things that we've forgotten to do? We forgot to do that we should have done. Eh? So, child support is a scam. Child support is a scam. I'm saying it without remorse or without anything. It's a scam. You can't be asking for what you don't have. You came into a, 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 a came into the home. The man is providing everything. At the end of the day, you feel you want to go, and uh, it is your entitlement to take fifty percent or I don't know how many percent you want to remove. If you if you have that notion as a woman, you are a wicked person. You never love that man. A woman that loves deeply won't even be thinking about how to take something from this person to hurt this person. No matter what, they will live peacefully. If you live peacefully, it will, it will show that you really have the interest of this person in mind, no matter what. But for you to like, okay, you know what, I'm going to court, let's go to court. I need part of your this thing, you are supposed to give me this, you are supposed to give me that. No. If I tell you give me the child, you said no. You want to take custody of the child. 
then take custody of the child and leave the person alone. It supports. It's not get rich quick scheme. It supports. Don't see it. Don't see it as an opportunity to siphon uh, financial aid, financial assistance from the next person. It is. It's a criminal act and it's a scam, and it should be looked into. And that's what we are doing right now. You are just. You are just there. You are just there. I don't. I don't. I don't understand what is happening in society. So for you, uh, Ty Tyrese Gibson, I. I just, I pray, I sympathize with you, my brother. I, I sympathize with you regarding what you are passing through. I know it is just a phase and it will pass. It's a phase, it will pass and then you'll be all right. You'll find love again and you'll be very happy. You'll see the right woman that will be there for you. You'll see the right woman that will love you for who you are. Right woman that will understand you. And for you ladies out there, if you are not interested in someone, if you are not interested in someone, please try. If there is a problem in your union, Try and explain, try and discuss about it. If there is a way you can fix it. And don't keep someone. Now you've wasted this time because relationship is not as a, a divorce is not as easy as some of you think. Just like we just part ways. You know the years you've spent together, you've built this person around you, the years you've built together. Now you 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 have to live with the present that you are no longer with this person. Is a trauma like it, it hits part of your brain. And now that same person is coming after you that he wants part of your will. What you are supposed to use to sustain. Eh? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you are not interested in this person, please don't even bother. If you are not interested in marriage, don't bother. And I don't blame the likes of uh, uh, more influential people that they find it hard to get married the next day. The likes of... Uh, let me not mention names so that it don't look like maybe I'm trying to... Trying to be, uh, uh, trying to eat into people's privacy, but we all see them in our societies. You can go and Google it for you that have not checked. Go and check in Tyrese Gibson's a divorce case. Check it online. It's all it's everything you, you want to find out is there. It's written plain black, white. There was no abuse. There was nothing. I don't know the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So we should learn to so that if people come together as one. They will be able to train their children, train their their children to have a better upbringing, and not we shouldn't be having divided families that we affect the society at the long run. No, we shouldn't. We should find a way to amend these things. We should amend it. In a case of uh, Tyrese Gibson, that was not having any abuse, was not having any reason why the lady needs to to leave the marriage. I, I believe, according to him, he said it was, I think the woman, it's possible that she fell out of love. And it's possible. I don't know if he went to see a counselor or something. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. But I just pray you guys find a common ground. You find happiness at the end of the day. You find fulfillment in whatsoever you are doing. You are able to find peace and joy. Well, having said all this so far, I know you've learned and I know something I've spoken to you indirectly, spoken to your heart. I hope I've been able to catch your heart because I can't really say it all. But these are just the few lines I'll, 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 I'm able to like observe in society and give to you. Please make use of this of these things I've said. If you have a, if you have a, if you if you think there are some things that uh, other people can learn, drop them in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. Let's have a discussion. Let's discuss about it. Let's know what's happening. Yeah, let's have a rumors up. They said the world is enough for the wise. For those who have here, let them work. Thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next. Do have a nice day. Bye bye.